Chapter 17 of The Mandalorian sees Din Djarin and Grogu preparing to return to Mandalore so that Din can be absolved of his transgression of removing his helmet. As Din and Grogu travel through hyperspace to Navarro to speak with Grief Karga, the two came across creatures that also appear to be traveling at light speed that Grogu was enamored with. But what exactly are those creatures? First appearing in Star Wars Rebels, fans of that series will recognize these badass animals as Pergil, which were a semi-sentient species of massive whales that lived in deep space, traveling from star system to star system using their unique and natural ability to access hyperspace. In order to breathe, Pergil needed to inhale stores of a specific gas called Clauson 36. Once they inhaled enough Clauson 36, they metabolized it into hypermatter fuel, their tentacles would start glowing, and they could then make the jump into hyperspace. Pergil's natural ability to travel at light speed inspired sentient beings to develop hyperdrive technology and wayfinders that were used for hyperspace navigation. In Star Wars Rebels, Harrison Dula explained that most spacers considered Pergil to be pests due to their habit of approaching and flying into Star starships near their flight paths, and that ships would crash into swarms of Pergil during hyperspace travel, which often led to spacers shooting them on sight. In The Mandalorian, we can see the group of Pergil traveling very close to Din and Grogu's ship, mirroring what Hera stated the Pergil often do. Not only was the appearance of Pergil an excellent callback to Rebels, but this will most likely help plant the seed for Grand Admiral Thrawn's presumed appearance in the upcoming Ahsoka series. In the series finale of Rebels, Ezra Bridger was able to use the Force to connect with a group of Pergil, who then aided the Ghost crew in their fight against the Empire and Grand Admiral Thrawn's Seventh Fleet during the liberation of the planet Lothal. During that battle, Pergil helped destroy and remove the Imperial fleet from that planet, and several Pergil wrapped their tentacles around Thrawn's starship and jumped into hyperspace, taking Ezra and Thrawn with them into the unknown. And once Thrawn appears in live action, my guess is that there's going to be some kind of explanation as to what happened to Ezra and Thrawn. As such, Star Wars fans that haven't seen Rebels will need an explanation that provides some context as to what exactly Pergil are, and their inclusion in the Mandalorian will hopefully make that a little bit easier when the time comes. At no point did I think Pergil would make an appearance in The Mandalorian, but I was so freaking happy that they did and love this sort of thing happening in Star Wars. Whenever we get a live action appearance from a character or species that has only appeared in a comic, a book, or a cartoon, it always makes me so pumped. For someone like me that consumes pretty much every Star Wars book, comic, show, etc., it's a really fun and exciting way to connect those stories and make them all feel like one large story. As soon as we saw the silhouette of the first Pergil, I literally started yelling at my TV, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Guys, I freaking love Star Wars and I'm so happy for the return of The Mandalorian. But what's your thoughts on the inclusion of Pergil and The Mandalorian? Did you enjoy their inclusion in the episode as much as I did? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on TikTok at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching and may the Force be with you.